Well, it's good, sneakerheads and hype beasts. It's your boy, Sneakerhead Farb, coming at you today with another video. Now, I've had this one recorded for a very long time, but it's finally time to show you guys, and that's how to cop Supreme in 2018. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. Now, a lot of people were having a ton of issues back in fall winter of 2017, ranging from the typical card decline issues to this new error that we're seeing, which is a violation of terms. And that's basically, uh, that's deriving from the use of autofill and bots. So today we're gonna show you a potential workaround from that specific issue, as well as a faster way to automatically fill in your information during the checkout process. So to get started, you're gonna have to open Google Chrome. And once you get there, and at Google, you can type in iMacro Chrome extension. And you can select the first link that appears that brings you to the Chrome Web Store. And you can install this Chrome extension as you would any other. Once it's installed, you can just exit out of any windows that will pop up. And we'll go back to the Supreme website. And once we're here, we can select any product, but you might as well select a cheap product for this process. And you're going to add it to your cart and continue with the checkout process, rather start the checkout process. So if you don't know what a macro is, uh, basically a macro is a way to record a series of steps and replay those automatically. And this is done a lot of times in Excel and also with web tasks to reduce the amount of redundancy, but we're gonna do it here to speed up the checkout process. So to get started, you're gonna click on the icon of the extension that we just installed, and you'll see a window appear on the left side of your screen. You have a lot of options here, but we're gonna hit the record tab and then the record macro button. And now we have started recording our macro. So we're gonna head back to our Supreme website, and here I'm obviously gonna fill in my fake information but you're gonna have to fill in your real information here as so, so let's get started. Now, when it comes to filling out the zip code city and state, it's really important that you fill out the state and the city before you fill out the zip code because if you fill out the zip code first, it's automatically gonna fill out values for the city and the state, and sometimes when you run your macro, that causes an issue and those values won't get filled out. So just to be safe, make sure you fill in your state and your city before you fill in your zip code. Now once every field is filled in, you, you do have the option of hitting the process payment button. Keep in mind that you're gonna end up checking out uh, if you don't get hit with CAPTCHA, uh, but that might be a risk you're willing to take because when you run your macro during actual releases, it's gonna act automatically hit that process payment button the second you run your macro, and it's gonna save you a lot of time as well. So, but uh, on the other hand, you know, you might run into issues where you're checking out too fast under two seconds or another violation of terms. So you kinda have to pick your poison, but for the process of this video, our purpose of this video rather, I will not be hitting that process payment button. Once all that is filled in and, and you've hit that process pay payment button or you haven't, you're going to go back to that window that popped up and you can hit stop. Another window will open up and here you're going to hit save as and close which is the middle button and you can give this a name, I like to call it supreme checkout just so I'm, I don't get confused and make sure that the bookmarks, checkbox, or radio, whatever you want to call it, is filled, not files. It needs to be bookmarks, and you can hit OK. Now we're basically ready. You can exit out of that window that popped up and head back to our Chrome browser. And once we're here, we're going to open up our Chrome preferences, and you're going to look for the setting that says Show Bookmarks Bar, and make sure that's going to be that needs to be turned on. And you can edit out of the settings tab that it opened up and you'll see a folder that appeared in your bookmarks called iMacros. You can open up that folder just by clicking on it and you'll see Supreme Checkout, which is the macro we just created. You can just drag and drop it right into your bookmark bar. 
and now you're basically ready. The last step is for the first, you're gonna have to do this the first time. Make sure you do this when you're setting it up. You'll select your macro and you'll be presented the option. Another window will pop up and, and an option that says show this dialog next time, which is automatically selected. Now, make sure you uncheck this checkbox. It's important you do this or every time you run your macro, you're gonna be presented this window and it's just gonna slow you down. So hit play and you'll watch, you'll be brought to the checkout page and all your information is filled in. Now I don't know if you caught this, but the first step of the macro is actually redirecting you, even if you're on the checkout page already, redirecting you to that, to that checkout page. So I'll show you what it looks like when a product releases. And what's really cool about this and, and what's gonna save you a ton of time is that once you get to a product page, once the once the product actually actually releases, and you add that product to your cart, you don't have to hit that checkout now button. All you have to do is hit your bookmark to run the macro. It's going to redirect you to the checkout page, and obviously your cart is a session variable, so the product's going to be in your cart. All your information is going to be filled out. If you hit that process payment button when recording your macro, you'll have hit that too, and you'll have hopefully checked out with no issues at all so hopefully guys this will be the best workaround for that issue that we're seeing that terms that violation of terms issue uh, and this this will do that because you know supreme obviously knows that so many people are using that standard autofill chrome extension and the filler extension so it's a lot easier for them to patch the use of those extensions that they don't know about iMacro this is something i decided to use myself you guys will be the first ones to actually use this so you can go ahead and test it hopefully it will work out for you guys leave a comment down below if you caught anything using this method make sure you hit that like button last but not least hit that subscribe button and keep up for updates backdoors tips tricks free cards and so much more